Hi, good, good morning everybody. Um, just before you ask, we're using a microphone also to uh, make sure that we record everything correctly and it's also going to be live streamed and filmed. Uh, unless people prefer not to, then it's also possible, obviously. Um, so what I'm going to do is relatively simple. I'm going to share the program with you. Uh, for those of you who are new, so I'm uh, Peter, uh, as Frodo said, and together with Thomas, who's sitting on the right, uh, we're managing ACFO. And we also have our advisory board here today. Sunita, Mark, Alt will join and Fon will join later as well. And I'm going to present some of the speakers once I run through the program. Um, let me see. One back, sorry. So track day, it, uh, it started, uh, I think, two years ago, the idea, and this is our third one. And uh, we basically were talking to many partners and we're thinking how can we actually make the most out of the interaction, learn from partners, and at the same time also share the progress we've made over the last five or six months because things uh, go quite fast and have one meeting like this. So it's meant to be uh, coming from both sides. And now we're... It's the third one, but it's also quite unique because we're doing three at the same time. So we have three events at this moment, one in Amsterdam, obviously, here. Uh, but we also are organizing one in Nairobi, in Kenya, where they also have 60 people or so uh, present, mainly local partners from some of the partners here, where we're sharing uh, progress, and uh, that will be organized from NILAB. It's an incubation lab in Nairobi, and we'll be dialing in in... 10 minutes or so just to get a glimpse of what they're up to. Um, and later today we have a small event in Washington as well where we have a hub. It's in the open governmental hub in DC opposite the World Bank where we're also sharing experiences. And in all these three spots we've invited uh, partners to present projects in which we play a role and also to share our own progress. Um, for those of you who are new where are we? So we're in the, in the warehouse of the West India Company, quite an old uh, building, as you can see. And we've been working, uh, uh, our head office here in Amsterdam is, we started one and a half years ago. We we're staying in the back over there. And uh, we're now moved up since January to the third floor. So that's also where we'll be having some of our workshops. It's a historic building and it's quite unique, we think, to be able to, uh, to work from here. I'm going to quick you run you through the program. There's programs also uh, on the table, I think, so you can have a look. Um, morning block, um, I've invited uh, Bart. I have not seen him yet. Oh, I have seen him yet. Um, because when we started uh, in the working, I think, five or six years ago, there were actually a bit more initiatives like us in the development sector, and Bart is the director of one of them, called the 1% Club. And we're having drinks in Amsterdam in a pub. And I said, wouldn't it be nice if we would all share an office space one day? And uh, now three, four years later, that uh, that's the case. And yeah, I think since half a year, we've been starting to look together. And we actually had a project now that we actually combined forces in this building that we executed for Gates. And Bart is going to explain a little bit about that because I thought it was good to share uh, that lessons. Then we've asked Joshua, who works at ACFO over there to talk about open data and give you uh, an update about what we've been doing also for the Dutch government, openaid.nl. Hans, where's Hans? Sorry, <laughs> you're wearing a nice uh, suit. Now Hans, uh, Hans has been uh, joining us, um, I think a bit over a year and has really put a lot of energy behind Acropedia, which is our knowledge sharing uh, platform. And it's been really developed quite a lot of new things. So he's gonna give an update and uh, share progress. Then we have Everista, welcome. <laughs> Very glad you're here from UNICEF. Um, we've been working with UNICEF in several projects that are now talking about scaling up significantly a cooperation uh, around monitoring for us, obviously, in uh, West Africa. And we've met several times uh, as well. So very happy with that. And then we have focus sessions, three. Uh, we have two rounds of sessions, 45 minutes each. One is about Flow 1.5. We have a new version of the monitoring and mobile phone platform. So it's going to be in-depth basically a demonstration, questions asked, or how does it work? Uh, one on open data is more presenting some cases because we feel that there's a lot of people are still trying to get their heads around what is it. So we thought it was good to just present some of the things that we've been doing. And Hans is gonna give a session about Acropedia. Um Same thing, same sessions, but uh, so you can uh, pick two after, uh, after that. And then Andrew, 
here from Mars. We've been working with uh, Mars for over a year now. We had one presentation last time, which is much more practical. And Andrew is a global chocolate manager. That's a very nice name. And uh, we've asked him to tell a bit about Vision for Change, which is uh, basically the drive of Mars to, uh, towards full sustainable uh, cacao in 2020. Um, and he's talking about obviously the program as such, but also our role in it. Um, and then we have some uh, lightning talks, as we call it. It's uh, uh, obviously there's coffee and drinks and everything in between, but some short presentations. Adrian, who is our product developer, is going to present uh, new updates on Aquar SR, how we can do mobile based updates. And it's not ready yet, but we're almost there. And he's going to present uh, progress. Uh, Doreen. Not here yet, I think. In the afternoon, In the afternoon coming. Uh, so we've been working with KNVB, which is the Dutch soccer union, uh, together in a program to link sport and development, which we think is very interested. And Doreen is actually hands-on a coach in uh, uh, to train people um, from a sport and development background. And she's going to talk specifically about girl empowerment and uh, how that plays a role. Um, Sunita. We thought it was very good to get one of our advisory board members also to present and she has a lot of experience in India. She's been the head of Argiam and focus on IT and development, I would say, background in the US. And she's going to talk about, I think, a new idea for a next step on how you can use data and volunteers to collect data and improve uh, governance, uh, which I think applies to many countries, but I think she's going to speak specifically about the Indian context. Uh, Martijn? Um, not here yet, I think. Uh, from ICO, one of our partners, they've been using Flow to do household surveys for economic development uh, projects in Indonesia. And he's going to share his experiences. And also, I asked him to uh, tell us what we can improve. So I hope uh, he'll be direct. And then Frodo is going to uh, tell a little bit about an event that will be happening in Amsterdam, and which we'd like to invite you all. So that's it. Um, if there's no more questions or everything clear. Some practical things. There is Wi-Fi internet. Um, I think it's mentioned somewhere, but else ask us. Oh, it's on the wall. Toilets in the back and it's, uh, you know, open. We have uh, quite a lot of coffee breaks, but it's uh, meant to be an open uh, session. So if there's no more questions, I don't know if I went too fast or too slow, but we're going to try and dial in. Uh, oh, one question. Yeah. Um, directly after lunch, so that should be quarter past one. I hope. <laughs> no more questions? Are we ready, Charlotte? Yeah. Nearly. So then I'll just uh, talk a bit more. <laughs> no, <laughs> so uh, tell, a uh, uh, tell a joke, yeah. No, so about, uh, maybe it's good to mention a bit. So what we noticed when we started ACFO is that uh, obviously we're working with quite a lot of partners here that are interested in introducing new platforms and tools. But in the end, many of them have local partners in the region uh, where capacity building is an issue. So since a uh, few years, actually, we're starting to uh, build little uh, small, small teams that can assist the local partners in actually hands-on training, capacity building, how do you use these type of tools. And Luke has been, uh, we started to set up an office in uh, Nairobi. We're also looking at West Africa now, started in India. Um, and we have a small team there, and they've been mainly focused on uh, over the last year in, in providing training around the tools and the platforms that we have. And uh, Luke also thought it was very good to invite all the local partners that we have in Kenya, but also a bit from the region to come together, because we noticed there that quite a lot of them are interested in certain tools that we have, like flow mobile-based monitoring, but are less aware, for example, of things like open data. So we also there, we're trying to bring uh, everything together. And um, now I hope that they're ready. Almost. So maybe during the day, we're, we're live streaming both events, so people can also follow it. And on the wall in the back, we also share some links um, 
on uh, from both events and hopefully we'll see Luc on the screen Luc can you hear me Luc Mark Luke, are you here? Hi, Mr. Peter. Do you hear us? Yes, we hear you. <laughs> good, good, good. You're a. Uh, so, hello, Amsterdam. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so, Luke, uh, I, uh, I just gave uh, an overview of what we're going to do here today. So, I thought it was nice if you could maybe uh, tell us a bit about what you're up to today and uh, where you are, because I know you started a bit earlier than we do. So, please explain a bit. Sure. So we started already. We just had a speed dating session. I think everybody can follow you right now on the screen. By the way, Peter, I don't know if you guys can see me. Yeah, we can. Yeah. Okay. So, um, yeah, we have quite an exciting day. It's the first time we're doing this in uh, Nairobi. Uh, we're going to have uh, various sessions uh, whereby our partners are explaining uh, how they're using our tools. So we have Seam and Pontus talking about uh, the open aid initiatives that they'd be doing. Uh, we have some local partners talking about using Aquifo RSR and of course also Flow. And then in the afternoon we have a demo session where we can go more in depth into, uh, into all the products we have. So uh, that's, that's it in a nutshell, Peter. How, what are you guys doing? We're, uh, <laughs> I just gave, uh, we're basically doing uh, almost the same. I just ran through the program. But okay. we're, uh, we're just starting off, so uh, after this session we're going to get the first speaker, Bart, as you know, from uh, the 360 program. And um, we are, uh, yeah, running through the program as you know it. And uh, so I think it will be good to, uh, to maybe connect a bit later on, Luke. And, uh, but one of the questions I have is how many people are present there? We have 32 people, Peter. Very good. So then I'll, uh, I'll, for the people over there, I could maybe uh, shortly summarize what we're going to do. So we have, uh, we have two key speakers. We have a speaker, Everiste, from UNICEF, talking about uh, monitoring and mobile phones in Western Africa. We've got a speaker from Mars, another keynote speaker, talking about vision for change and sustainability in the cow sector. And then we have quite a lot of local smaller presentation that we'll be sharing online as well, either about the progress we've made or about partners using our tool. And we're going to uh, share the experiences as well. And we're going to live stream it as well. So we hope we can uh, have an interaction. Great. Um, Peter, we've only, we only just got the full audio up here. That's, um, but if, is there anything else you want to say to the group here from Amsterdam? Because they can all hear you now. <laughs> <laughs> I hope you will be having a great day. Now, I was just uh, explaining very shortly that uh, the key program that we're doing here. So once again, we have a speaker from UNICEF about West Africa monitoring uh, in the region and a speaker from Mars. And we'll be sharing quite a lot of progress from uh, partners uh, over here. And we'll be having working sessions as you do as well. And so I would just like to say, I wish you a very uh, pleasant and uh, warm day in, uh, in Nairobi. It's quite cold here, it feels like winter. And we'll be connecting to you probably uh, later during the day to get uh, some feedback of how it was. So I wish you a good day. OK, um, thanks. It's really nice and warm here, actually. <laughs> thanks, Peter. Good. Enjoy okay. the day, uh, Amsterdam. <laughs>